Parents across the country are afraid to send their kids to school. The Texas mass shooting is raising a lot of questions about safety on campus and what more can be done to prevent these tragic incidents. Dr. William Jaynes is a professor at Cal State Long Beach and a former White House advisor. He's also the author of a book called Reducing School Shooting. Dr. Jaynes is joining us with insight on this topic this morning. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. It's a joy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. This is a very important topic. Yes, we're both parents here on the set, so that's all we've been thinking about is the problem of the number of school shootings that have happened in America just over the last year. Can you talk about these acts of violence and how they could be preventable? Well, I think we can reduce them substantially. I mean, this has not always been the case. From about 1900 to 1960, we'd have only one school shooting about every 10 or 20 years. Uh, then from the late 90s until um, about 2010 or so, it was about one per year. And uh, then from 2013 to 2015, it was literally about one a week. So we really do need to ask this question because as parents, our children are so precious to us. And even as a nation, our children are so precious to us. But I think there's some things that we can do. Uh, number one, I think it's very important to depoliticize this issue. And I think what President Biden needs to do is assign a commission of experts on this issue to put together a comprehensive program. Uh, if it is viewed as a political football, which I think a lot of Americans view it as uh, over these last decades, that each party just positions themselves to themselves to satisfy their constituency, we're going to run into problems. But I think the best thing that uh, President Biden can do is uh, assign a uh, group of experts to examine this issue thoroughly and to come up with answers. Related to that, in the book that I wrote on reducing school shootings, what I did is I did a lot of data analysis and examined what are the factors that could potentially reduce school shootings. And the findings were very, very interesting because there were about eight or ten factors that were very important, but there wasn't a single one that alone would make that great an impact. So what that means is we need a multifaceted approach that includes, well, Joe Lieberman, uh, who used to be the Democratic senator from Connecticut, he says it begins with the families. You know, it's so easy to say, well, the government needs to do this, the government needs to do that, and the government can help, for sure. But we need to have the attitudes, Americans, that, that we can take action as well, and that we can do something about this issue. I think we also need uh, some intelligent um, uh, gun control laws that I'll talk about more in a moment. Also, uh, you can make an argument that we need to have these uh, young people that are between the ages of 11 and 18 learn how to handle their anger better, and maybe that'll take character education as well as a moment of reflection and all kinds of things. And then intelligent uh, gun control legislation. And what, what I mean by intelligent is that we really need to examine this issue closely and understand that these are youths committing these crimes. And so the approach needs to be a little bit different. And number two, I think we need what we need to focus on is the parts of uh, gun control legislation that have the greatest support in the United States. These are the aspects of gun control that are most likely to pass. And I meant, I'll mention three, and then I'll hand it to you. Uh, number one, uh, we need uh, background checks. But right now, these kids are so young, they don't have backgrounds. So we need to examine how we can know more about their backgrounds. Secondly, we need to look at uh, the uh, smart guns that they now have available that go by fingerprints or what have you. So only a person who is signed up to use a gun can do so. And this will, I think, really satisfy a lot of people on both sides of this issue. And, and then lastly, we need assault weapons bans. And we've done it before. Yes. Machine guns in 86 and uh, temporary assault weapons bans in 94. Okay, Dr. Jaynes, thank you so much. I wish we could talk longer, but let's mention your book. It is Stopping Mass Shootings, and we're going to put more information on CBSLA.com. So sorry we ran out of time this morning, but we're going to have to have you back on so we can follow Problem up with this conversation. 
Amber. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you.